Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video today where I'm going to be doing kind of like a tutorial slash step by step guide of how to build everything circular. Um, I've had a couple of people, but more than a couple actually, ask me um, on comments on my videos and on social media how I am building circular stuff. So I'm going to show you, so the first thing I'm going to show you is a circular path, really simple to do. Um, they're all pretty much simple to do once you know how. So what we're going to do is we're going to select any old path um, and we want certain settings on it. So we go into this tab here, we want angle snap at 15 degrees on. Length, it can be any length you want, as well as width, any width you want. Obviously, um, the bigger the length, the bigger the circle. So if we just place this path like this, and then we move it to the side, and we place another one. And now what we're going to do, quite simply, is move it in 15 degrees with our angle snap on, like so, and place. And we're going to do this for every piece we place, like so. Be careful not to overstep it, like you don't want 15 and then 30, like that. You want to keep it at 15 degrees. And you just want to follow this along. You see the circle starting to form now. So keep following this along, 15 degrees inwards every time you place the path. And you'll see it perfectly meets up and makes a perfect little circle of paths. So you could have like the entrance here as an idea, an exit on the other side. And then this can be anything. This can be anything you want. You could have a building in here by building um, pieces and following the circle around. Um, same with a habitat like I've done in some of my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I've built a habitat in a circle like this for a small animal or it could even be like a foliage um, patch or anything. Um, looks great as you can see, perfect circle. Moving on to the next step of this tutorial and we're going to be looking at buildings, building in circles. So if we take any wall piece which is on the grid and what I mean by on the grid if you don't already know is when you'll see when you go to place an item especially a wall piece like this you'll see these grid icons come up so if we just place that down and then we move this over to the other side and what we want to make sure we're doing is you see how it's on the outside of the grid line so that's the outside there's the inside. We want to make sure it's on the outside on both sides, like so. And then on any of these pieces, you can literally throw anything you want on them. So if we go to columns and if we turn position snap on as well, you can see it will snap to the end like that. So we press X to um, rotate it and we'll rotate it round so it's facing on the outside and then we'll slide that down I think so it's just touching the floor and then we're going to do exactly the same on this side I do it with position snaps so I know it's exactly where I need it and it'll help everything line up in the end which you'll see so rotate that again so that's the outside of what the building will look like now we need to do the same for the other side so if we hold control and press on these two and then we duplicate them over like this we can place them on the we need to rotate them so they are on the outside again advance move them over to fit in like that so both sides are the same you can literally throw anything you want on and it will duplicate over so now we want, what we want to do is exit that group and we simply want to press duplicate and advance move here and now we press X and now we literally just rotate it um, we rotate it to there first this is how I like to do it and then what I do is I um, sorry I select it again and we'll rotate it again and you just keep repeating this process until you get a nice little circle. Start lining them up now. 
like this. You see all the columns, what we um, put on the side of the building piece, all line up with the other columns. You can delete one of them off each if you wish to and that will uh, make sure you only have one column on each side. Getting that one more rotation, line it up and there we go. As you can see, we've now got a circle building. Like I said, said a minute ago, these, all you have to do, delete that one. Now you've got one. Make it a little bit no neater. You can always um, advance, move that out of the grid as well to get it lined up perfectly but yeah there's the um there it is so we can move that wherever we want it you just multi-select it and you can also advance move it to have different heights or different um different ha sorry different heights or you can bury it in the ground like this which i like to do for habitat and this makes a nice little habitat barrier but it also makes a nice little building you can add to this wherever you want you can delete um you can delete said this piece here and there's your entrance to the building moving on to the next step in our little circle journey we've got going on here and we're going to be looking at building a circle with items which are not on the grid this time and the way we're going to do this is add them to a grid so i've already favorited this item but it's the mud column one this item is amazing for building circular buildings so if we just place that as you can see it's on the grid and now we can literally get any old item so we'll even get an art shape say um and this is how i built a pumpkin as well um i did build a pumpkin as a halloween themed um build the video is on my channel so go check it out now it will, the, the my planet zoo playlist will also be linked in the description box go and check them out much appreciated if you do so yeah the way i did the pumpkin and how i'm going to show you how to build a circular building off the grid um just change this color to a more pumpkin color uh, position snap on again and we just snap it to there so we know it's perfectly aligned we press x to advance move we move this down we move it across again to any um, distance we want but let's just do the for now and then what we want to do this time is want to exit the building we want to press duplicate and advance and move we want to move this over we want to press x we want to rotate this all the way around full 360 and we want to slide it back in so it lines up with this mud piece like so and then you want to edit this and you want to delete that you want to edit this again and delete that by right clicking and then you've got two pieces off the grid what are perfectly lined up so if we go and multi-select and we just hover over this and select all of them and then merge scenery into group and then duplicate and advance move and then we press x and then you'll see now a good way of checking as well if you rotate it all the way around and they line up like they do there and disappear you know you've got it perfectly lined up and now you can literally start rotating around to complete the circle again and an easier way to do it if it is off the grid like this is once you've rotated it like this so it's like an x shape select all of them and merge them again should do the same again duplicate and rotate and you'll have more columns now let's do the same again like this all the way around until you get the perfect circle like so and you can see it's already starting to look like a pumpkin and then we want to select multi-select again select it all this time merge senior into group once again and there you have it this can be done with any item in the construction tab as you can see we can move it wherever we want we can advance move it wherever we want and we can even duplicate it and advance duplicate it as well so we could have a pumpkin on top of a pumpkin if we wanted to but yeah that's how we go about doing that now there is a more fiddly way 
how to build um, a circular building slash habitat barriers. Um, I'm going to show you, first of all, the barrier. How would you do a barrier? And this is pretty much the same as the pathing system. So length, four meters. We want position snap on. We place one and we literally go around and do exactly the same like we did with the path this circle can be as large as you want it and it is a more simpler way how to build a habitat which you want as a circle as well by doing it this barrier method make sure it is only 15 degrees and you'll see as before oh wait see right this is good because i've made a mistake and it's good to show it what i've done is I've left it, I, I turned it too many times. So instead of turning it once like that, I turned it twice, so it ended up at 30. So we press Control and Z, and then we line it up again. So come in, in, like this. As you can see now, it will line up perfect. And there we go, if we edit barrier, press this button here to select all. We can now move it wherever we want, increase the height. And you've got circular barrier habitat. The last stage I'm going to show you here for circles is building probably the most hardest way to build a circle, to be honest with you. Use the other methods if you're not sure. Use one of these methods, uh, but this method He's doing it manually. I'm not going to build a, fruit, uh, a full circle because it does take forever. So if we get, um, say we get a fence, it's good to do this with fences. So we type in fence and we get this metal fence there. Place that down. Now you can either do it like this where you duplicate an advanced move. You line it up, have position snap on, position snap that and then line it up again. And the only reason I would give for doing a circle like this is if you've got an area like this, but it's not a perfect circle and you need to rotate it a bit more. So for example, if I just place that there now, if I went all the way around, it'd be a perfect circle. But if I had to fit these barriers, these fences, into an area what wasn't a perfect circle I could do this line it up and return position snap off and now if I couldn't place it because there was a path in here um, I'll give you an example here so if I place a path here as you can see we don't really want it hanging over the path so if we just rotate it like so and then move it in and then line it up. That's the only reason I would consider doing it manually. But as for getting perfect circles, this is what we're looking at. And you can do this uh, with water as well. Obviously, you can you can just dig this out. Like if I get the terrain tool here and just move this down, flatten this out like this. And then we can add water so you can have a full perfect circle pond you add rocks to cover the jagged edges and obviously smooth it down which i did not do like this and then you can have a nice little circle pond put rocks around the edges it looks really nice you can even build a bridge over it your it's all up to your imagination with this um, but yeah i hope this guide helped a little bit and helped um, clarify things a little bit um, this is how I build circles um, I'm not the most talented or the most professional builder in Planet Zoo there is many other people who are better at the game than me um, I don't claim to be amazing at this game but a few people asked for it so I'd thought I'd give this little tutorial of how to build circles. If you liked this video, feel free to drop a like. It helps the channel grow a lot. Um, comment down below if you're still unsure about anything and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to. But if you like my content, 
the button's there for you to subscribe, press the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. My name's Adam, I hope you have an amazing day and I will catch you in the next one.